Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Tim. Uh, I'm actually getting ready to develop uh, some film. Yeah, in my bathroom. It is, what is this? Um, like week nine of being quarantined and I have shot so much film of my family, just stuff like that. So I wanted to uh, like give developing my own film and scanning it a shot. So this is my first attempt and I'm just gonna show you guys everything. I've got uh, my GoPro. I got this awesome mask on. This actually belongs to my four year old. This is PJ mask thing. It was on the floor in my bathroom so I decided to put it on. But anyway, I am pumped that you guys have here, that you guys are here, that we're gonna do this. So I'm going to show you everything that I bought and just kind of go from there and we will try and do this all together and hopefully i develop some film and if i not if i don't if i don't uh if i not if i don't whatever that means you will get a good laugh out of it all right guys see you on the other end okay so this is what we have here i've got some ilford rapid fixer some Ilford Ilford Stop, some Photo Flow, some HC 110, a Patterson tank. That is a couple of funnels, some measuring cups, some light sealed containers. This here is a thermometer, so I can kind of measure the temperature. Um, my iPad. Yeah, you can see me in the reflection there. Yeah, so this is all the stuff I bought. I also bought some of this stuff, some D76, which I hear is like the bee's knees. But um, I'm not sure. I don't want to deal with like powdered um, developers. So I actually ended up buying some of this HC110 stuff here. Um, Cause I hear it's a little easier to work with and it's a liquid. This is the Photo Flow 200. This here, this stuff lasts like forever. I couldn't get a hold of all of Kodak stuff, so that's why I have some Ilford stuff here too. So hopefully it doesn't mess anything up, but I don't know. This here is the Rapid Fixer. This is good stuff here. It kind of fixes the film onto. We've got some measuring cups, Patterson tank, some funnels. And then my meat thermometer. I'm just joking. This is just gonna be my thermometer for this. Once it fell. Oh, and I also have a changing bag so I don't have to change my film into the Patterson roll. Yeah, so let's get to it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is the film I'm developing. Um, some 400 speed black and white film by Kodak. You know the brand. It's pretty dope stuff. Um, I bet you're wondering why the leader is out. I shot this on the Canon 1V, which has an option to leave the leader out to make it easier for home developing. So yeah, this is pretty good stuff. Um, it's my like, second favorite black and white film. I prefer HP5, but that's what I have. I actually bought a bunch of this film from another photographer, Kat Brahman. She's amazing, wonderful film photographer. And she was just selling some extra 35 millimeter black and white film. So I bought it all. I think it's probably about like 40 rolls of this. Oh, and the other thing that I have here, this is what I'm gonna hang my, oh, wait, wait. Sorry. Those are my swim shorts. This is where I'm gonna be hanging my film from. This is a like garment rack. I figured I'd just hang it down into my tub. And yeah, this is what we'll do. Boom. Okay, so I've taken the mask off. Obviously, I'm not wearing the PJ mask mask anymore. But I opened up the Patterson tank and you know, because I already had the film lead out a little bit, um, thanks uh Gabe Aceves. Yeah, I'm just gonna give a shout out to people who I purchased that um Canon 1v off of that 
one is going to help me churn through a ton of this 35 millimeter film that I have. And also it has a little thing on there where you can lead the uh, leader out, as you can kind of see here. Um, initially I was going to kind of grab this bag and put everything in the bag and, and kind of do it like that. But then I was like, well, what if I just turn off the lights in my bathroom? So that way maybe I could see exactly what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, so that I think I'm going to try and attempt to do that. Um, as I load this first roll of film of uh, Tri-X 400, uh, I actually shot this at 400. So that way the development time was pretty simple and pretty straightforward and pretty easy. Uh, yeah, so let's, uh, I'm saying uh, a lot, right? Right, so anywho, it's kind of late. It's like 10 o'clock at night and I'm gonna attempt to do this regardless because I wanna do it and um, oh yeah, before I talk about this, so I have two scanners. I have a Pacon um, F35 Plus that I've had for a while. It's actually been sitting downstairs in my basement and I haven't really been using it. Uh, but when I first got it, I've probably put through uh, probably about 100 rolls through that thing. It's like amazing, fast, simple. And I also have a flatbed scanner, the Epson V600, I think, or 650, whatever. One of those two, I think is a V600 that I'll actually be doing my scans with um, or on. And I heard that black and white film is pretty easy to develop at home. So we're going to give this a shot. Um, yeah, guys, I just wanted to say two things. One, I'm super pumped that you're here and that you're watching this. I'm actually on my knees because I don't have my tripod in my bathroom. I have a um, like a small tabletop um, tripod here that I'm talking to you on. But we're going to give this a shot. And hopefully by the time I come back... Um, yeah, you will get to see the film in there and we can start mixing chemicals and all that jazz. I'm kind of pumped. Are you pumped? I also have like something to drink as well. They kind of help pass the time. And yeah, dude, we're pumped. Let's do this. All right, guys. Okay, I'm rambling again, uh, but I'm pumped. I'm excited. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Oh, wait, wait. I got to turn the lights off first. Holy crap, guys, listen, I am, this isn't my first time doing this. I was a photojournalism major in college. I shot on film. I shoot on film today, although I do take it to a lab to be scanned and developed, and I don't normally do it at home. But even with all that being said, after doing that, it took me forever to put those rolls into a one of those little white clickety clackety things for my Patterson tank. So <laughs> like I can't even like I mean I got them off, but it took me like two hours. I mean I think you watch like all these other YouTube videos and you see them like, oh it's just so simple. You take it out, you cut it, and you clickety clack, clickety clack, clickety clack, is that even a word? Whatever. You get the idea that it's just super simple and easy. Well, the first one took me like literally maybe a minute. And the last one, <laughs> I mean, that same, the last one took me like an hour and 15 minutes. Like my hands were sweaty. I'm sure I probably got like grease marks and sweat marks all over the film. I absolutely struggled getting the film off of this roll. This is the last one. I left a little sticky thing on there because it was just like driving me nuts. But like I, every time I got it on there, I would wind it and then somehow I would find it unwinding. I don't know what I was doing. But in the meantime, my wife made a great dinner. I ate it, it was delicious. Um, after I spent an hour and a half getting the last roll on, at first I thought that there was like something, I thought there was something wrong with the roll at first or the little white tank that you put on to 
the Patterson tank into this little thing here. I thought initially there was something wrong with it and I couldn't get it on because the first one took me like no time at all. The second one, I mean, you can still see, like, look at this. You can see the, see the marks. I, like, I don't know. Guys, listen. It wasn't easy. And I know you're going to watch a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of people are going to tell you how easy it is. It just wasn't. Uh, hopefully I get better with time because I have a lot of roles that I want to develop at home and I have a lot of chemicals. But, yeah, that's where we're at. We finally got them on. It's after midnight here, but I'm pot committed. I'm going to develop these rolls of film today. Hell or high water. All right. Now we're going to make some chemicals. <laughs> All right, guys. So I've mixed some HC110 here. Um, so... I did the B variety, you can see like all this stuff right here. And the B variety is 1 to 31. So I did 31 milliliters of the HC110 to 8,000 milliliters of water at 68 degrees. So yeah, we're gonna mix this up and see what happens next. <laughs> All right, so I'm back again and I'm going to mix some fixer. So with the Ilford, if you peel this little thing back right here, it tells you exactly what the ratio is. So this says one part this to four parts water. And it says, yeah. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna mix. Our Patterson tank says 290 milliliters per 35. So I know that I'm going to need at least 600 milliliters of this rapid fixer to fix the fixer is what they use to fix the images to the negative. So we're going to mix this next. Boom. All right. So I've got some distilled water here. We're going to finish mixing the fixer here. This is two parts to eight parts. Voila. Looking good. Yeah, I'm still kneeling because, yeah, I don't have a tripod in case you forgot. All right, so we've got like one of these little Delta containers. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna take this, take this fixer, and we are going to, and you should be wearing gloves, everyone said. Oops. Case in point. Why should be wearing the gloves? Spraying everywhere. Kind of makes me have to use the bathroom. Weird. Almost done. Almost done. Boom, shakalaka. All right. So I got a little Sharpie here, so that way I don't mix up my chemicals. This is Fixer. Boom. Just go ahead and label that to make sure that I don't make that mistake of putting developer where the Fixer should be. So that bad boy back up tight. So now we've got our Fixer. Our developer made. Um, yeah, so I will be back. We're gonna do some stop bath here. And the stop bath here next that we're gonna mix, this is 
Oh boy. 1 to 19. All right, so we're going to get this started. So I bet you're wondering why, Tim, are you still sitting on the ground or kneeling on the ground to record this? I don't really know, but this is just where we find ourselves. So the Ilfer stop bath is 1 to 19, which means that it's going to be 1, 100 of these to 19 total milliliters. So one milliliter, 100 milliliters to 1900 milliliters. Um, and we're going to put that in our container. But let's go ahead and mix this. You know, a lot of people say you don't even need a stop bath. You can just use water. But um, we're going to make one for giggles. All right, 100 milliliters. Boom, shakalaka. All right. So what we're going to do, we're just going to take this. So I gotta clean all the other ones. We're gonna dump 100. And then we're just gonna pretty much measure this out. It's 1900, which means we need six of these plus 100. I know this is riveting, right? It is now almost one o'clock in the morning. stop bath there we go guys oops wrong top that goes to the water we've now got our stop bath we mix this up just to get all the chemicals going so we're gonna take this and label this contents in here stop there we go all right, we're getting close to developing some film, guys. One o'clock in the morning on a Friday. That's the way we roll. In Casa de Riddick. All right, see you guys on the flip side. Okay, so it is about 1.15 in the morning. We are just gonna go ahead and develop this film. So according to the Massive Devs site, it said that I would need 
Oh, and the Patterson's. I would need 500 milliliters of developer at 68 degrees, and it should take seven and a half minutes, which means you agitate for the first 30 seconds, and then every minute after that. Um, the Patterson tank came with like this little swivel stick. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And uh, yeah, so let's get this party started. So I've got the very scientific thing here. I made all of my charts here, if you can see. Seven and a half minutes, develop, wash, fix, for seven and a half minutes. Let's get it started. I'm an idiot. We're not gonna wash for seven and a half minutes. We're gonna wash for like a minute, maybe a minute and a half and then we'll put the fix in. Sorry, small mistake. My B. Let's go ahead and pour some of our developer. All right, got some developer here. The Patterson for two rolls. It says 500. Milliliters. Put that back in the tile. Open this up. All right. All right. set our timer here start agitate for the first 30 seconds That's it for a minute. Oh, this is probably like the most bougie video of home development that you've probably ever seen. But this is how we're gonna roll today. A little timer on my uh, iPhone there. Speaking of iPhone, this is probably the best case I've ever had. It's like it's like a twelve dollar case off of Amazon, but it holds four cards. Uh, it's hands down my favorite. I don't even carry a wallet with me anymore. I carry like my ID and three credit cards. That's it. It's pretty awesome and it keeps like one last thing that I have to remember. I never forget my phone, but I would forever forget my wallet. All right, we're getting down to that one minute. Go ahead and put that back in there. Let's pray that we got some some uh, film in here, or at least some developed film, and I didn't mess up the chemistry or anything like that. Lord knows that would like really stink, right? All right, let that sit for another minute. We're gonna put our um, developer back in here and we'll dispose of that later because you can't really reuse developer from what I understand but I don't know but let me tell you about how difficult it was to get that second roll so if it's ruined and it doesn't come out it just kind of is what it is at this point but you know that really sucked it took me forever I would have had this done like before midnight but here we are like I said pot committed Keep an eye. All right, we're getting close to that minute. Oh, there we are. So we're gonna go ahead and whirl and twirl. 10 seconds. Get any air bubbles that are up possibly there to kind of settle down. 
So, have I told you about the sponsor of this video? Coyote Provisions. Coyote Provisions is an outdoor company based in Burlington, Vermont, and they are like the first sponsor of my channel. So I'm very fortunate to have them here. Uh, and I just wanted to say thank you for sponsoring this small channel of only 149 people, probably by the time you get to this. So who am I? Like I'm not an influencer. I don't have thousands of people following me, but I want to uh, let you know that Coyote Provisions is giving you 15% off for watching this video. All you have to do is go to coyoteprovisions.com, type in Tim15 at the end of your order, and you will get 15% off your total order. Bada bing, bada boom. We are getting close to that next minute here as well. But I do want to thank Coyote Provisions for sponsoring my channel and my podcast. We'll talk about that here in just a few minutes since we've got time. And we are just hanging out, friends, at 1 o'clock in the morning developing film. So hopefully this turns out, yeah, I'm pretty petrified that it's not. But... Hey, at least we gave it the college try. All right, almost at three minutes. All right, time to swivel. And I'm turning it left and counterclockwise and clockwise a couple of times. We have bounce, more bounce to the ounce. So let me tell you about my podcast that I'm currently doing. We're like four episodes in. It's called The Morning Tea. And I bet you're wondering why The Morning Tea. I don't know. I just really like the name. But the podcast is more about failure. Um, as a creative, I feel that so many people live like these like fake lives online. And no one ever really talks about the stuff. Uh, that they're struggling with. No one really talks about the things that they suck at or the things they fail at. So my goal with The Morning Tea was to explore failure. Um, I've had a bunch of guests on so far that I'm getting ready to release. Oh, we're almost at the two minute mark. Hold on. So like the first few episodes are only a couple of minutes and they're kind of just like my thoughts and ideas on the uh, on failure and how to get started after you fail. The proof, truth of the matter is you're going to fail. Not everyone's going to succeed at everything. But the morning tea, we're going to explore that. I've been very fortunate to have a psychologist on, uh, photographers, filmmakers, writers, poets. Uh, I've had like just like these really interesting conversations with people who have really shared uh, a lot of like personal failures. And I hope that you will come along and listen to because I promise you it's going to be something good. Uh, I'm having uh, a bunch of other people. So if season one will be about 16 to 20 episodes. Um, we're already like four episodes in and I have 12 episodes already recorded. So we're going to see where we go from here on this particular venture of podcasting. But right now, I, I'm not shooting weddings. I'm only shooting really personal work. So I have been thinking about this idea like forever. And this was just like the perfect opportunity to start. You know, I just wanted to continue to create and continue to bring value to you, my viewers and my listeners. I may even just share some of the episodes on my YouTube channel with just the logo, just so you can hear. If you've landed on this video by accident, or if you uh, have been a subscriber, hopefully you'll find some value out of the Morning Tea Podcast. All right, we're about 10 seconds from dumping this in here. And then we're going to run some stop bath over this. And we're just going to kind of fill it up. I'm sorry, a wash, not stop bath, wash. All right. Pour that in there. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get that stop bath. All right. Remember the stop bath was 
one to 19, and we're just gonna dump this in here. Couple more. And we are gonna let that sit in there for one minute. In 30 seconds. Sorry, I'm trying to get my timer here. Let that sit in the stop. Then we will pour that out and put the fixer on next. And then we're gonna pray. Oh wait, we got one more thing, other thing we're gonna do a little photo flow next and yeah then we'll be close to being done all right all right we're gonna just stop this and we'll see you guys on the other side Definitely all right we're back alarm's getting ready to go off on the stop boom all right we just dump the stop out Now, fortunate for me, while I was off camera, I went ahead and poured some fixer. So we're gonna set our alarm back. Seven minutes and 30 seconds. We're gonna pour our fixer in. Now we can reuse fixer, so Yeah, so um, we're gonna let that go and I will see you guys here in just a few more minutes. Thanks for hanging with me, guys. All right, we're back. So I've got the fixer in. So we're gonna agitate the fixer for 10 seconds every 30 seconds. Yeah, so we're gonna do that. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and speed through this, guys. Just wanted to kind of tell, let you know that. We are still here. We're gonna pray that we have some photos on some film. All right, guys, see you sec. All right, we are down to the last minute and 30 seconds. You've been here with me for a while. This is probably gonna be my longest YouTube video. And it's just really me in my bathroom, which is just kind of crazy. That right there that you're probably seeing, that's my bedroom closet. I'm sure at any moment, my wife will be coming upstairs and watching television. So it's generally our routine. And if she comes in the door, say hi. But we don't know if she's coming or not. All right. We've got 50 seconds left to go on this. And yeah, we are going to be done. So after we're done with this, we're going to rinse our film. Everything will have been developed. My battery is blinking at me that it's about to die because I only had two bars when I started this. But hopefully you guys can stay with me here for the next 30 seconds before it cuts out. And if it does, I will just go to my room and get a new battery. Yeah, so how are you guys doing? How was your day today? Were you guys doing well? Everything going okay? All right, we're down to our last couple of seconds and you guys are still here. All right, boom. <laughs> All right, we are getting oh so close to that moment of truth here. So we can take the swivel stick out. This can come out. Hold on, let me set this down. Let's 
flosser. I get butt down here so you guys can see me. This can come out, so now we can wash our film. And hopefully, we have some film. This is where the photo flow, you don't need very much of this. So they say there's a couple of drops. We'll drop, so we're just gonna throw a bubbly. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Now, I almost made a fatal mistake when developing this. I almost left my Apple Watch on. And that would have been brutal had that happened. We're just going to rinse this film off because then as I was changing my film, any light could have overexposed it or caused a light leak. But who knows, I could have light leaks in this anyway because I probably messed it up. But I'm hoping not. I'm kind of excited. I haven't done this in so long. So for some reason, I messed up that developer when I mixed it. I also have the D76 that I think I'll do another video on when I develop this. Um, this actually makes a liter. And I didn't have a container big enough to put this in to dissolve it. So I um, turn the water down just a little bit. It sounds like I'm peeing since I'm in the bathroom. Um, but I'll probably develop this and put this in one of those containers. So let this Happen. Have another sip of now. The stuff that I'm that, that I'm developing today isn't nothing super mission critical. It's just some personal photos of my kids around the house since we've been quarantined. Um, but I hope there's something on there. We're getting close to the moment of truth. Man, I'm gonna be super annoyed if I mess this up, but if I did, you're gonna get to see it too. Man, it's been forever since I've developed my own film. Let's see, it's full of water. Oops. We're all over the place. My wife is gonna kill me. This is the Triax empty canister. So I think we're pretty close, guys. Let's go ahead. Are you guys ready to see if we got any film? Let's see if we have images. I think we do. That is awesome. Oh, I can't wait to scan these. Cool. Well, that's it, guys. That's the uh, that's the film.